I'm Jennifer Campbell, Group Sustainability Manager at Trilux. With you, Engineer Abdurrahman Al-Khouli, Senior Principal Engineer from Ministry of Energy and Infrastructure Development. Within the context of government projects, how do you prioritize sustainable solutions? When it came to sustainability in general, it's the first priority, not only for the ministry, but for the whole country. Because it's not just about the environment, it's also touching the lifestyle and uh, total uh, accumulative uh, solution for, for, for the resident as well as the environment. So when it came to sustainability, there is no doubt that UAE is uh, committed to follow a strict um, guidelines in that aspect as the announced just right now in COP28. Can you share an experience with us where you ensured a project's compliance with environmental regulations? Yeah, um, the question is consisting of multi-stages. We need to look into it in separate stages. We, we started normally the project from planning in the aspect of planning, start to choose the location, the land, land choosing, and the orientation of the building itself. Natural lighting, when it came to uh, the accessibility of the light into the building, um, energy efficiency, and so on. So from day one, we need to choose the proper location, which is not going to, to harm the environment, and as well as suiting best fit for our project. When it came to the design, um, in the concept design, we have a different methodologies to uh, simulate and emulate uh, the output which is going to be coming into the project. So the concept design is, is very important to us. Uh, in the massing stage of architects who are not going to the um, we we simulating a different solutions, not only for the architect, we, uh, we are simulating as well for the equipment and product which is going to give us the best solution to be balanced between the needs of the building and the client which is going to use the building, plus the outcomes from the energy and uh, environmental side. When it came to the execution, we are re-evaluating our, our uh, solution because you know the technology is jumping quite fast. Yes, yes. So we are trying to re-evaluate our product, to re-evaluate our design. Sometimes we change for the sake of uh, saving more energy or getting getting a new uh, innovative ideas in on board. So this is how we are simulating it, and uh, in, in in the sake of that, we are adding uh, provisional sum normally in our projects. This is dedicated just for the innovation and which is related directly to the sustainability and uh, energy side. Okay, so to follow on from that uh, question, then when you add a provisional sum, this is to really ensure that you have the, the, the budget necessary to be flexible, to be agile, and to be sustainable. So it's really a high priority for you. Correct, and it's, it's adding as well uh, another aspect because you are designing the project, which is taking the process from six to eight or maybe 12 months, according to the size of the project. Uh, while the execution is started and the implementation will take like 18 to 20 months more, so uh, purchasing or, or, or acquiring the material inside is taking quite long, so the technology is not going to wait you. Mm -hmm. In this case, we uh, started already to put into consideration some allocated budget to overcome any challenges in the execution. How do you collaborate with stakeholders to incorporate sustainability goals into engineering projects? Um, quite good question, because without uh, the incorporation between uh, the ministry and uh, stakeholders, which has started from um, our team itself, when it goes uh, to different departments, which is handling the project life cycle, uh, to going to the consultants, then to the supply chain, which is, uh, is, a, is a heavyweight part, which is going to, to push you into a, a total uh, different aspects when it came to the sustainability and energy efficiency. So if you started with, the, with, the, with our team itself, with uh, continuous education, uh, we have some ideas, folks, which is open for everyone, and share these ideas into uh, every year aspects, evaluating it, starting to come with the new initiative and make the people start to engage with you, not only uh, as an observer, but as an, an, 
active members into the uh, sustainability. When it goes to the consultants, we have a very strict uh, criteria for selection of the consultant itself. We are mandating for this consultant to have on board a sustainable team with the minimum years of experience. And sometimes we are going further to uh, testing them and check their previous experience into that point. So we are not accepting anyone just to start to work with the, with the, with the, with sustainability unless he's really qualified into that role. When it came to the supply chain and, and especially the products, uh, solution provider and so on, we are uh, having an annual already uh, meeting with them listening to them, started to gather the information, the ideas, what are the challenges that they are facing. Plus our R&D team and uh, department started already to uh, get engaged more in the, into an action with the supplier and the products to reach to the point, uh, the best fit to the project, plus the most economical uh, cost versus the best performance in the, in the site itself. Abdul, can you share an, an example with us of a time when you implemented an innovative solution to enhance sustainability in a project? Um, I can talk with you about one of success stories, which is uh, already uh, registered as a copyright for the ministry. Plus, it's a little bit far away from lighting, but let's go deep to that. It's uh, a network. We are restructured uh, the network with according to our needs. It's called GBON, Gigabit Passive Optical Network. You can imagine that it saves energy into implementation and operation, CAPEX and OPEX, uh, around 92%. So you are reducing the energy consumption for such a network, which is already consuming a huge power from the building, 24 hour operation, into 8% only. Plus the CAPEX at that side, CAPEX uh, is, is reduced by 61%. Um, using the fiber optics, which is transmitting data through the lights, is much more better and efficient rather than the copper cable. Even for the recycling purpose, it's much more easier. Um, adaptability for it, resilience for it is going to be much more uh, flexible for you. Mm -hmm. Coverage of the that network is increasing from 100 meters into 20 kilometers. So um, from sustainable aspect, we, we really uh, help, help the, set, the, the environment in that section. This already evaluated by Genie, Global Innovation Institution, and we got as a tier three certified, the top innovation in, uh, in the rating for the environment section. Thank you. This is one of them. That's a very impressive example. Um, for my last question, I would like to ask you, how does collaboration with leading lighting brands support your sustainability goals in engineering projects? Actually, the leading lighting brand, they are uh, playing a, a major role in, 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 in that aspect. Without them, and, and maybe before uh, that, I already told you that we started in 2011. We visited Trilex Academy yes. at that time. Um, we have seen a uh, knowledge transfer into the point uh, of details of the product. It's not just uh, for a selling point. No, they are selling as well the know-how, which is really drive the market into forward. So learning is one of the major things what we, we, we get a benefit really from the uh, major player in the market for our leading, leading the brands. When it came to the R&D as well, many times we are collaborating even with Trilex, with other brands as well, into uh, research and development for uh, new needs for our project. Some of them is uh, just a special mission for uh, a, a certain type of project. Some of them know to, to initiate and increase the efficiency and even the lifetime for, uh, for, for some, of, uh, some of them. Uh, last but not least, when it came to uh, exchanging knowledge that uh, yeah, the team from uh, education or, or, or R&D team visiting us or we visit them, we are starting to share the other uh, point of view of the client itself. This is enhancing the, the, the outcome for the client as, as well as for the ministry. That's lovely to hear that our academy and, and also working together and collaborating on innovation and new technologies means that we can really support you in the work that you do. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you.